We use it with um, pitchers, softball players, um, pitchers and catchers, uh, actually. Um, we use it with uh, volleyball players and uh, water polo players. Um, the, uh, the slide board is all about uh, that body position, maintaining that extension and upright torso that's going to allow us to maintain a good body position, and then getting that lateral force production with the lower body, and essentially using um, kind of that upper body and lower body, dissociating um, those two from each other to take lateral power or lateral forces and turn them into rotational power. So as I'm on that slide board, torquing my body, rotating my upper body in one direction, my lower body in the opposite direction, maintaining my center through that upright torso as I switch and transfer lateral force production. We use the lateral reach on the turf as a drill to help reinforce those body positions um, for the slide board. So, starting with one foot, I like to use the line in the middle as kind of a landmark. One foot on the line, outside foot is going to reach at least a yard, and I want those feet level. I want this outside foot toe pulled in, flat outside edge. So I have good extended angles here as opposed to internally rotated broken angles there. This is going to give me good lateral power um, on that outside leg. Now, I want my hands about shoulder width, elbows at 90 degrees, and I want to think about taking this dowel and almost pointing it straight down the line. So that's really my neutral position right there, straight down the line. It should be parallel with the ground, and I should be able to stick and freeze this position. What we wanted our athletes to do is almost create torque by ripping that upper elbow as they switch the lower body. So rip, switch, I should stick this position. I want to check my feet, my knee, I want to check this dowel pointing straight down the line. Switch, 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 going side to side. Every time checking those body positions, checking that level of the dowel, and then being sure that I don't over rotate. The biggest thing we see happen is we over rotate round through that torso and that's where athletes start leaking that force in rotation. They get going fast, they over rotate, they round out and they start to lose that upright body. So our goal with the side slide board is ultimately to link the lower body and the upper body. Coordinating that lateral drive with torque and rotation through the torso. So I want to start with what we call lateral reaches on the slide board. Basically learning stability on my inside leg as I get reach with my outside leg. Simultaneously coordinating that rotation through my upper body. So one foot's in the middle, reach out, 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 out. Again, I want solid foot position here. I want that toe turned in, not rolled over, broken ankle, but that good position right there. Again, I want to think about pointing that elbow straight ahead down the line. Then I use this inside leg and this elbow to pull up and together. So I'm controlling kind of stability through the lower body and then that rotation through the upper body. Sink, 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 sink. Point that elbow straight ahead, chest is up, and then I pull up and together, trying to maintain as much extension as I get that rotation through the thoracic spine. So that's our first warm-up set, kind of reaches and holds working on that lower body stability. From there, we add a little bit of speed to it. So just a reach and pull, reach and pull, reach and pull, getting a little bit of that coordination, and then ultimately we'll build into getting some push off the boards. Now, that's where we're getting into that lateral drive, coordinating with um, rotational power through the torso. So, as I drive, I've got almost torque that upper body opposite of my lower body. So I'm going to start on one side of the boards here with my sweet spot, essentially right behind the ball of my foot, contacting the boards. I want to think about getting enough push off of this side that I get all the way over to the other board. I'm going to rotate my torso, use my upper body to counterbalance my lower body as I almost jump from one side to the other. So jump and switch all the way into that other side. Good edges, good foot contact, elbows pointing right down the middle. Jump and switch, jump and switch, jump and switch. Start to build that rhythm and essentially over time I get those arms working faster and faster. 
eventually I'm no longer sliding side to side, but my upper body, my torso is almost stable in the middle of the slide board and I'm just reaching and rotating side to side with the legs, rotating with those arms. That elbow points right down the middle every time. Point and switch. Point and switch every time. Lower and more stable right in the middle of that slide board. 